Hello everyone, welcome to this video. In this video, let us see Verilog code for 2 is to 1 multiplexer in all modeling styles. First, let us understand what is 2 is to 1 multiplexer. 2 is to 1 multiplexer is a combinational circuit where it will be having two inputs and one output. With these two inputs A, B, we will be having a select line. This multiplexer will be called as a data selector. Depending on the select line value, whatever the data present in inputs will be selected at the output. Means if S0 is equal to 0, the MUX will be selecting input A to the output line Y. When S0 is equal to 1, B will be selected as output. You can see in the truth table here, I have just taken input as S0 and output as Y. When S0 is equal to 0, whatever there in A will be appeared at the output Y. Similarly, when S0 is equal to 1, means select line is 1, corresponds to input B. Input B will be appeared as output in the MUX. This is what 2 is to 1 multiplexer is. And we are going to represent this multiplexer in this way. Why? Because we will be having more inputs at the input side and we will be having only one output. So the symbol will be like this for any multiplexer. Let us write the Verilog code in data flow modeling first. For the data flow modeling, we require a logical expression for this output y. So how to write the logical expression for this y? So y will be equal to, let me take y is equal to, a will be the output when s0 is equal to 0. So I am going to write this as s0 bar into a plus b will be the output when s0 is equal to 1. So let me take it as s0 itself with b. So this is the logical expression we have for y. So using this logical expression, if we are going to write the Verilog code, then it will be called as data flow modeling. As we know, any Verilog code start with the keyword module. So first there will be a keyword module and we need to name this module. So let me name it as mux underscore two underscore one. And within the brackets, we are supposed to write the input and output port list here. We need to list out. So a comma b comma s naught comma y. These are the input and output ports. Here we need to declare which are the inputs and which are the outputs. So let me write outputs first. Output y, y is the output and we have inputs. So for that input a and we have b and we have s0. So these are the inputs. In Verilog each and every statements will be end with a semicolon. And after the input declarations and output declarations we need to write the logic here. In data flow modeling, we are supposed to use this keyword called assign and we need to write the logical expression here. So assign 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 y is equal to what we need to assign to y depending on this expression s0 is there. First we need to generate s0 by using a negation operator then s0 it will generate s bar into means here we have and operator, and operator in Verilog is this A. So this is S0 bar into A plus in the sense that is R gate, a straight line is the operator for R in Verilog and S0 and with B. So this is how we can write the functionality of multiplexer using data flow modeling. After the logical expression is written in data flow modeling like this, we need to end this module with end module keyword. So end module is the end of this Verilog code. This is the simple Verilog code in data flow modeling which representing a 2 is to 1 multiplexer. So let us see the gate level modeling Verilog code for the same 2 is to 1 multiplexer. For the gate level modeling, we require a gate level circuit. So as we know, y is equal to s0 bar into a plus s0 into b is the expression we have. To convert this into a gate level circuit, let me take this as a, 
this as s not by putting one not gate we are going to get s not bar here now here we will be having s not bar and this is my a i need to put one and gate this and gate gives the output of s not bar into a right similarly by taking b as input and s not with that we need to have one more and gate so i am taking s not here and this is my b one more and gate this gives s not into b we need to take r of these two we have a plus here so r of these two put one r gate this gives the output y that is the output of the multiplexer so here let me write the verilog code for this again start with module max 2 is to 1 again the inputs are same here a b s not and y is the output and i am going to declare output as y and input inputs are a b and s not and here we need to use this logical circuit while writing the gate level modeling in gate level modeling we need to describe the gate circuit what is there over here so this is a not gate and this is and gate this is and gate this is also an and gate and this is or gate this is an or gate here we need to find which are the wires left out without naming here a is the wire here s not this is b but here output of not gate is not represented with any naming so let me name it as wire 1 so here we need to declare that as a wire there is not an input and output port of a mux but still it is a connecting wire between the two gates so i am naming this wire as w1 so wire w1 similarly we have this output s not bar a so i am naming this as w2 similarly we have and gate and or gate connection here this is w3 so we need to make it as w1 w2 w3 are wires and now here i have a not gate and gate and or gate so we need to use the primitives for these gates as not not for the not gate a and d and is the keyword for and gate functionality and orr is the or gate so here first let me write not gate we have one not gate so let me write it as not for this and i am going to name this gate as n not this is the instance name here we are instantiating the not gate we say so n not is the name i am giving for this first i need to write the output of this not gate this not gate output is a wire that is w1 so i am going to write it as w1 comma here the input is s not so this is s not so this completes the functionality of this not gate now there are two and gates so we need to write twice so a and d and a and d but we need to make the difference between these two let me call this as a not and this as a1 so i am going to name it as a not what are the inputs for this a not input a and w1 and output is w2 so first write the output w2 comma here w1 and a are the inputs so a comma w1 this is first and gate now we have second and gate here so for this i am calling it as a1 and the output of this is w3 and inputs are b and s not so let me write it as b comma s not and now not gate and gates are over we will be having or gate here so let me name it as o1 r is the primitive we have i am giving the name as o1 so the input for this this or gate is w2 w3 and output is y so y comma w2 comma w3 so i have completed with all the gates representation here using primitives 
so this is my end of module end module this is how we are going to use gate level modeling technique to write the verilog code for 2 is to 1 multiplexer here we require this logical circuit now let us see how to write the Verilog code for this 2 is to 1 multiplexer using behavioral modeling. So again, we need to start code with a keyword module. Let me name it as mux underscore 2 underscore 1. And again, the inputs are, you can also write output first and then inputs like this. End with semicolon. Here the output is y and inputs which are all the inputs we have name it as input a comma b comma s naught and here in the behavioral modeling how the behavior of the circuit is depending on that we are going to write the code in the behavioral modeling we are going to use always statement always within the bracket we are going to specify on what this multiplexer is the output of the multiplexer is sensitive to if s naught changes output will change if a changes output will change if b changes output will change so i am going to write always at the rate always at the rate s naught comma a comma b so this always line always at the rate s naught comma a comma b always checking for any change occurs in s naught r a and b and it will execute the next lines so we need to start with begin always at s naught comma a comma b begin there is no semicolon for always so let me write if s naught is equal to is equal to zero here double equals to check whether s naught is equal or not this is the condition if s naught is equal to is equal to zero what should be y y is equal to a so i am writing y is equal to a y should be assigned with a else if s naught is not equal to 1 not equal to 0 means s naught is equal to 1 when s naught is 1 y is equal to b so this gives the functionality of 2 is to 1 multiplexer and i am going to end this begin and end module this is the behavioral modeling of 2 is to 1 multiplexer why we call it as behavioral modeling means this is the behavior of the 2 is to 1 multiplexer. When S0 is equal to 0, it will be assigning A to Y. If S0 is equal to 1, it will be selecting B as output Y. So depending on the behavior, you are going to write the Verilog code here. It will be not depending on the logical expression. It will be not depending on the circuit. Once we are going to simulate this, then we do synthesis. That synthesis tool will generate what actually the hardware we require for this implementation of 2 is to 1 multiplexer. This is the three modeling styles in Verilog. So we have implemented 2 is to 1 multiplexer using these three model, modeling styles. Switch level we can write, but switch level requires a knowledge of gates. This is NMOS and this is PMOS gate. So we require knowledge of how NMOS and PMOS are going to be used to construct the circuit for 2 is to 1 multiplexer then only by using this nmos and pmos circuit we can write the code for switch level so let us not go to the switch level now so let us stick on to these three modeling styles thank you